China went to Australia to milk its cows. What it ended up doing was killing the poor creatures by not feeding them and keeping them in miserable conditions. Now, China is being kicked out of Australia for its apathy and not to mention for its aggression against the down under country. The ghosts of the cows killed by China in Australia are coming back to haunt Xi Jinping. And he and his stooges are running around with their tails between their legs. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Sunbeer and in this video we talk about how the CCP is being driven out of Australia while the people down under cheer the departure of violent communists. As luck would have it, China is being kicked out of every single sector in Australia. In its ambition to colonize the down under country, China had enthusiastically acquired the Van Dairy Group for a cost of $280 million in 2016. Now, however, the Chinese owners are being given rather extravagant kicks out of Australia. After having been called a gum which is stuck to China's shoe, Australia is now showing the Chinese Communist Party how it uses its own shoes to land some major kicks right on Xi Jinping's temples. Recent developments are proof that Prime Minister Scott Morrison is not willing to let China have the last laugh. And so, Australia and its people are now witnessing the embarrassing exit of Van Dairy Group's Chinese owners. On paper, Australia's biggest and oldest dairy conglomerate was acquired by Moon Lake Investments and its owner, Xian Feng Lu. The sale of Australia's oldest dairy farm group to the Chinese came after Van Diemen's land company was listed for sale in 2015 and subsequently sold to Moon Lake Investments in 2016. Interestingly, the sale of the dairy conglomerate was overseen by the then treasurer and now prime minister, Scott Morrison. Truth be told, Morrison made a mistake in 2016, but fear not, he is now determined to destroy China and its interests in Australia. It is therefore no coincidence that as China flexed its non-existent muscles against the down under country, Canberra turned its eyes towards the Van Dairy Group and the rather overt Chinese involvement therein. Now, the Chinese owners of the group are looking to sell at least half of their farms. In totality, the Van Dairy Group owns 23 farms in Tasmania, Australia. The reason for this rather hastened exit, you may ask? Well, China angered Scott Morrison and is now being made to leave. It's rather simple, to be honest. The Australian government, in the hope of not souring relations with Beijing, was turning a blind eye to the malpractices and an all-pervasive apathy which prevailed in the farms owned by the Van Dairy Group ever since the Chinese took over it. However, over the past one year, China has shown minimal interest to preserve diplomatic ties with Australia. Hence, Canberra too has decided not to give a flying damn about Chinese interests in Australia and the CCP stakes down under. Now, the Chinese owners are being chased away by the very cows they left to die, did not feed and kept in horrifying conditions. These cows are kicking the daylights out of the Chinese. Australians, seeing pictures of the conditions prevalent in the farms ever since China took them over, have been calling for the federal government and authorities to save the animals in the farms from the monsters that have come to own them since 2016. Confidential documents, photographs and accounts from employees and locals obtained by the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age reveal that conditions at Tasmania's iconic Van Dairy Farm comprising of 23 farms and 30,000 cows have been deteriorating since its 2016 takeover by China's Moon Lake Investments. The reports and investigations, apart from inspections by authorities, have found farms in disrepair with effluent overflowing as drainage systems fail to cope with the number of cows on the properties. Skinny and dead cows, indicative of malnutrition and a 1000 litre cube container, three quarters full of dead calves have all been discovered. This in complete contrast of the Chinese farms claiming on their websites that their products are absolutely fresh and procured first as milk from healthy cows grazing on lush green pasture in the purest place on earth. A whistleblower who worked on a number of Van Dairy farms over the past year was quoted by the Sydney Morning Herald as saying, this schmotzel hasn't happened overnight. It has all been going on for years. I've never seen anything like it in all my years working on farms. 
it's a total balls up. Such apathy towards the cause of Australia by selfish Chinese owners has led to the ouster of communists from Australia's dairy industry. Australia is about to wrest control of the Van Dairy Group soon, as the country forces CCP stooges to exit and commit their monstrous acts back home, for which too they will be held accountable one day.